Now, I don't know if you can see yet, but do you see this like skyway here? Yes. Like I have the no one idea. Right in front of us. Yeah, I have no idea what that is or where it goes to. Okay. I know north of here I can see the beacons for our community and I can see the villager farm. Yeah, right, that's it's that. east. That's east, actually. I can just barely make it out. It's a big tower. Yeah, so I can see that. So I can tell that goes east to whoever or our community. Okay, this the tower right over here is um, Amiri or at MC. That's his base. Okay, is he the one you were saying? What does the um, like the he would sit there and just record for you? No, he's not that one. He's actually looking into getting into YouTubing soon, which is good. Okay, so this is his base that I found. Oh, this is where you were? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize it was that far. I was looking at the coordinates and felt like it was way closer. Yeah, because I came from... I followed the swamp into that birch forest, and I just kept going this direction until I saw, like... I saw what actually caught my eye was his nether portal burning. Oh, yep. Yeah. And there's a little house down there. None of it has labels. We should definitely investigate labeling our stuff. <laughs> yes. Labeling is good. Um, I didn't even notice this. Time. I didn't actually come over here and visit. But yeah, yeah, so this is all new here to me. And actually, let's, let's introduce what we're doing. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm Lucky Dan of Lucky Dan Games. This is... Should we just call you Light? I've been called Light. I'm in Light in 22 of in Light in 22. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Lucky Dan, you just joined the server like four days ago, three days ago. Yeah, it was. I actually a, don't remember. <laughs> it's yeah, recently. Just a few days ago, and you just stumbled upon Amiri's base. I didn't realize it was here. And Have you plus, been here before? I've stolen chickens from here a lot. I stole some chickens recently as well, since he had a lot of chicken, and I figured he wasn't going to miss a stack of his bajillion. Yeah, I've done that a whole bunch. I'm like, I'm out of food, and I didn't have a farm yet. I'll take some from here. Yeah, he's got he's right on the edge of an ocean biome, which is actually pretty cool. Yep, I really like his cliffs. If you run over this way, you can actually see these cliffs over here, and he's planning on making it a little bit more custom with, you know, like gravel and a site, that sort of stuff. Okay. Did he, were these carved that way in the long run? I don't remember. I asked, I know it was similar to that when it spawned though. All right. Cause uh, it's like, cause I, I came down here earlier and I'm, as I head back down here again, make my way safely. So I don't splat on the floor, but I came up to his, I don't know, lighthouse, maybe watchtower. I'm not sure what it is. It's a really nice view if you go up to the top, though. Yeah, he's got it. It's not easy to get to. <laughs> I've missed it multiple times. I'm going to make a makeshift step that he can take off. No! I need to do parkour. Make it hard. Um, there's servers for that. <laughs> <laughs> At the rate you're going, you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. And climb up here. It's a long ways down. Yeah. Gotta make sure I hold my shift key as I look over the edge. <laughs> yeah, big ocean out here. You can just see oh, water. Oh, I gotta jump. <laughs> and yep, those two beacons over here. Once you're up, those are my beacons for yeah, the I, potion factory. Yep, those. I saw those beacons, and then watch my step here. You got in this chest snowballs <laughs> we can pelt people with snowballs from up here yeah i don't think the hill up here is a very safe spot to do it. i have a feeling that i would get hit and knocked off he's got like a pattern on top of his base I yeah I'm, i saw it before i'm not sure what it is it's i i i, I couldn't tell you i don't know if it's intentional or not i'm sure it's intentional do you know anything about that skyway like who built it and why? That one, I f vaguely remember you mentioning something. It was probably Roni built it for some weird reason. That's my guess. Yeah, that's when I exclaimed, what is that? That's what I was looking at. It's like First I thought I was having some kind of graphical glitch. And yeah, I, was, I have no clue. 
And let's go check out. He has one cool. Do you have an, any Ender Pearls? Uh, not currently. <laughs> Here's one. Come back. Oh, oh, okay. A lot faster way down. So let's jump down here and follow me. Right down. Yep, there. I'm coming. There I am. And what was it? His one, his most finished area, right down here. If you didn't see it. Oh, no, I didn't come in here. Yeah, there's a storage room. A nice prismarine area. Now, you get prismarine from where? That was the Guardians. Remember that big water temple we showed you? Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, water temples are new for me since the last time I played. Yeah, so... Those are those would be an adventure. That would actually be fun to do sometime. Go take on a water temple together. Yep, we got that forgotten mine beneath uh, my village that we can do in the future. I was either going to do it solo, but I figured it'd be better like to take you or someone else along down there and see what we can find and what mayhem can happen. Yeah. He's got purple sheep. It seems like his color scheme is yellow and purple. That makes sense. I have to say with my skin, sheep look kind of creepy. They do, and a lot of texture packs, they look go from derpy to creepy. Yeah, they look like half human. I think I know which ones you're talking about. Here, a cat, and, or an ocelot. Yep, right over here. Ooh, keep I have creepers seen away, spot. right? Yes. He's got lots of wheat. He's yeah, have a... Oh, he's got farm here, and he probably does. He have it all set up the pistons. Yeah, what it looks like is the pistons retract, so the water just flows down and gathers all the crops. So. Alright, that's cool. I've seen cool stuff like that. I've never attempted it. And, yep, this is his basement. This is where most of his contraptions oh. are. I was going the wrong direction. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. I'm coming. <laughs> yep, I really like the roof down here. Oh, yeah, he's got all the different ores. It just gives a lot of color without being too much. And very, very cave basement look to it. Now, apparently he's looking to move his chicken farm. Does he sign on often? He's on every once in a while. I saw him last night. He's been really busy recently. Okay, I just, I've not seen him personally over the last four or five days I've been on the server. But there's a, where's that? Is it? Oh, he's got a, he's got a oh. uh, minecart. Um, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I just fell through. <laughs> he doesn't have a minecart to exit. <laughs> I think if you... No, he does well, not have a minecart to exit. Yep, you need another minecart to jump into. Well. So, if you come back down here, I'm a suspicious person, it seems. I looked at this red wall. Uh-huh. Don't, don't tell him, but, uh... Really, really mean prank. Replace this with TNT. Oh, he would never notice. That was the first thing I thought when I... Ah, that's loud. It's very clicky. Yeah, that's Etho's um, mini farm. So basically you stand on it and hold right click and it will automatically get you resource or get you farm stuff. Oh, nifty. But yeah, my first thought when I saw that red was like, wait, is that TNT? Well, let's hope it wasn't. <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't. I'm not dead. <laughs> yep. And, yep, this is an auto-fishing right here. Auto-fishing? Yep, so you can AFK and fish. Speaking of... Oh, he has no puffer fish. I made some of those. Um, now, but the various fishes is new to me as well. So, um, I saw the salmon and I saw regular fish. Regular fish thought it was here last time I played. Salmon and raw fish are basically the same thing. The big new thing is puffer fish, and it's used as a brewing ingredient to get water breathing potions. Okay. Well, it kind of makes sense. Puffer fish puff up and whatnot. And... Yep. And I think uh, we've seen everything we can see down here. You think so? Unless there's a secret door over here that I didn't notice, which is probably the case. <laughs> this one, I'll ask him before we show this on video, but... Because this is his secret entrance, secret basement that he showed me. Well, I mean, he left the hole in the side of the thing. <laughs> I was actually, I looked no. at that uh, over there. I was like, oh, that looks like... Or did you pop something off of it? I had to use a... Um, it's a torch key. 
So you use a redstone torch, place it in the right block, and it opens up and closes. So where did you place it? Do, uh, is this one of these walls over here? Yeah, it updates it. You have to just know the correct place. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's Yeah, it's pretty cool. These aren't the best doors for two people. <laughs> yeah. Like, run through, close the door on my face. I'm sorry. No, it, it's just not the design of the door. And yep, this is his brewing room a little bit. It's a nice design. You press the button, get your ingredient. I think those are droppers behind it. Yeah, this is definitely pretty cool. No, oh, yeah, I really like his base. It has a little... Ah! <laughs> I'm going to edit out how we got in. I'm not going to edit out that it exists. Okay, that makes sense. I'll probably do the same. Um, yep, all his enchanting set up. Yep, he's got another basement with, I don't know, it's a stone or something. Diorite. Diorite? I See, I don't recognize all this. With the, I have two there's, problems. The skin makes everything look different. <laughs> yeah, this is where his beacon is. If you yep. follow around, there's another step going... I think this might be where he's got his generic mining. Yeah, but I think this looks like just a strip mine. No reason to follow it. Yeah, what's what was there was something on the other side. He had a ladder here. Oh god! Oh, I caught the oh. ladder. Oh! <laughs> Did you survive? I have feather falling. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't have otherwise. <laughs> yep, looks like another mine, and I have no ender pearls. So there's a stairway here. Oh, good. And, yeah, I'll explain the stones since you were asking about those. There were three types of stone added. Granite, this red one over here that I'm yep. standing right next to. Yep, see that? Yep. That's granite. The one that the floor was, the white stone, that's diorite. And there's a grayish one, like this one right in, that we're standing on now, is andesite. Andesite. Diorite, and andesite, and granite. Okay. So that, are they just more like just different stylized or were they just added as a way to break up the monotony of stone? They're to break up monotony of stone and give you more building materials. And there's two versions of each. The walls are, I think it's called diorite panels or... Are they like vertical half blocks or something? Polished diorite or polished andesite. So mm -hmm. they have a polished version and their generic version. Those, it's just to give different designs. Okay. Yep. And I think that's about it for his base. Quite a bit here. Yeah, cool I place. think the only thing we didn't look at as we go back up here is I think there was an upstairs that we didn't see. Obviously, there's something upstairs because you've got the the, the door or the the gate out, but no, no uh, minecart to get out of it. Yep. I don't know where that goes to, though. It's pretty unfurnished at the moment. A fireplace without fire. Oh, here it is. So here's the top right here. Yep. And here's the design we were seeing. Oh, it's AT. At. Oh. That makes sense. Okay. And I'm guessing he's Amiri something or other. Yep. Amiri's his real life name. At MC is his minecraft name and he's got his different ages i thought this was probably one of the cooler things i saw he's got the different the diamond age the wood age yeah i think he hasn't finished his iron and i guess leather age i'd call it probably leather and stone and oh a nice little overlook with an enderman outside who i think stole some blocks that's <laughs> what they do <laughs> jerk <laughs> oh Oh, oh, you can't look at Enderman through the glass. I was yeah. trying to draw him to us. Yeah, I got a, I've got a cool like um, quarter moon view right now on my skin. No, it's the same for us or for me for oh, normal okay. skin. You're not special. I am too. <laughs> Don't take it away. You're special. I'm special in all the wrong ways. <laughs> There's a balcony out this way, win. too. Who, you? <laughs> yeah, we're just going to turn everything bad, that I say. Eh, it's, sometimes it's fun to do that. Nah, it is fun. 
And so I think we've covered everything. Yes. So this was apparently a Miri's base and he doesn't live too far from what I refer to as the capital. Yep, right next door to it actually. And, and I just go ahead. And I'm going to be making potions on his doorstep soon. <laughs> apparently, because the potion factory is off in the direction I'm looking right now. I can't see it from here, but I as I was in the tower over there, that's when I noticed it. I was like Hey, I know where I'm at. <laughs> Thanks for for playing with me. Thanks for letting me show you around. Oh, thank you very much, Enlightened. Uh, you've been watching Lucky Dan Games. If you haven't yet, take the time to like and subscribe this video. And if you haven't, you probably should do the same thing for Enlightened over here, too. Yeah, listen to his professional outro.